am Meghali from Just Tutors and in this video we will be learning about decimal fractions. So let's discuss the objectives. We will begin with writing half, quarter, three quarters and one and a quarter in decimal form. Then we will proceed with adding decimal fractions and then finally we will learn how to subtract decimal fractions. Before starting the topic, let's have some pre-assessment questions. Please pause the video to try them out and once you are done, please resume it to check your answers. Here we have the answers. Well, pat your back for your amazing efforts and congratulations if you have got all correct. So let's begin with writing half in decimal form. So as we know that half is written as 1 over 2. So to write this half in decimal form we need to make denominator 2 as 10 first. And how can we do this? Uh, so as we know that if we times 2 by 5 we'll get 10. So here we'll times both 1 and 2 by 5 and we'll get 5 over 10 which is 0 0.5 so if we are dividing by 10 we just need to shift the digits one place to the right we can try this in one more way which is writing 2 as 100 so we know that we times 2 by 50 to get 100 so here 1 over 2 times by 50 will give us 50 over 100 which means we need to times both 1 and 2 by 50 and that will be 0 0.5 so if half is equal to 0 0.5 and half is equal to 0 0.50 which means that 0 0.5 and 0 0.50 they both are same now in similar way we can write quarter and three quarter in decimal forms as well so a quarter is written as 1 over 4 and 3 quarter is written as 3 over 4. So here we cannot write 4 as 10 but we can write 4 as 100. So we need to times 1 over 4 by 25 so which is 1 by 25 and 4 times by 25 which is 25 over 100. So that will be equal to 0 0.25. If we are dividing by 100, we just need to shift the digits two places to the right. In case of three quarters, that will be 75 over 100 and se three quarter is same as 0 0.75. So that's their decimal forms. Now here we'll proceed with mixed numbers. It says one whole and one quarter. As previously learned, we know that 1 quarter is 0 0.25 and we'll put this one here before the decimal point. So 1 whole and a quarter became 1.25. In similar ways, you can try both the questions. Now it's asking over here that how could you write 28 and half in decimal form? So we'll write 28 point and as we know that half is a 0 0.50 here we have 28.50 so after writing fractions as decimals now here we have got how to add decimal fractions let's take an example if Shashank bought a packet of chocolate of cost 12 and half rupees and an apple juice of cost 18 and a half rupees, how much money does he need to pay to the shopkeeper? Now when we say add in fractions, that's a little bit harder. So we can write this fra these fractions in decimal forms and then can add them. So let's see how to do that. As discussed, 12 and a half is 12.50. 18 and a half is 18.50 and we can add both the numbers together in similar way we were adding whole numbers we just need to keep one thing in our mind that we need to line up the decimal point at the same place so 12.50 at 18.50 will give us 31 which means that he needs to pay 
31 rupees to the shopkeeper now let's see how to subtract decimal fractions once again we have an example Vineet has 32 and a half rupees in his pocket he spent 15 and a half rupees on burger now how much money does he left with once again we can write these fractions in decimal forms and quickly subtract them so let's see how to do that 32 and a half is 32.50 15 and a half is 15.50 now here we can subtract 15.50 from 32.50 in similar way we were subtracting whole numbers with exchanging so the answer we'll get will be 17 rupees and one more time keep in your mind that we need to line up the decimal places correctly all right so it's practice time to try these questions you can pause the video and once you are done you can resume it to check your answers after these four questions we have a word problem try this as well so check your answers from here Back to back for your amazing efforts and congratulations if you have got all correct. Thank you for watching this video. For more please visit trustutors.com.